almost five years since a BYU and BYUH last met in a regular season game. This was an exhibition tune-up for BYU. The Cougars win it 110 to 63 over the Seasiders in front of almost 13,000 fans here at the Marriott Center. And BYU head coach Dave Rose now joining us courtside. Coach Rose, uh, your impressions uh, of a game that is the last one you'll play before they start to count on Monday? I'm, I'm happy that uh, everyone got in. We, we got uh, a lot of minutes for a lot of guys. Uh, happy that LJ and Elijah could play a few minutes and get kind of get that uh, hurdle crossed. Um, look for a lot of improvement over the next three or four days, and, and we're going to need it. I, I think that uh, this Princeton team will create a real challenge for us, and we're excited to get started. But uh, uh, we, we, we were, we, you know, we were physically. Um, dominant in this game. They were overmatched of our size and inside, and and uh, uh, they caused us issues early in the game um, with mismatches on the perimeter and driving us to the basket. And we kind of settled in and, and did a much better job of forcing them to take threes and contested threes. Um, but what I really kind of I, I like the most about the game is I had a lot of different combinations in there to get started. And we'll see how this plays. This is going to be an exciting journey. It's going to be, hmm. it's going to be really interesting because uh, uh, we we have a lot of options, um, and I, I think high high level options. Um, but it's a it's a young, inexperienced, together group, and you see a lot of things that really frustrate you. You know, it's kind of silly plays, uh, and and then you see some you know really great. Uh, fundamental basketball that we work on and and hopefully we can we can get to our personality as soon as possible it'll be interesting to see how long that takes he hadn't gotten into any kind of game with you uh, until tonight that's LJ Rose and and he was a guy not frustrating you from the start I mean he gets out there and he just gives you a steady hand you can tell very quickly um, what he's going to be able to bring to this team and he was a he was a great influence out there tonight well he, he's a he's a pass first guy who has great offensive skills who can score uh, and I think that's that's a unique he's got good size he's a good rebounder always looking for that next guy with a better shot started right from the very start you know with that pass to KD early a wide open shot and KD obviously was wide open in a mismatch switch and we got the ball right to him right at the rim and got him an easy shot to start the game and and it's no to me it's no accident that KD has one of his best games uh, you know, from the floor, what was that? He was seven for seven from the floor, and and a lot of that comes from that first play of, of confidence and and then uh, you know Katie's ability to to uh, kind of dominate inside. But I I, I like uh, I like what he brings, and confidence is another thing that, that he really brings, and hopefully that can spread with the guys with the young early. with the young team, right? Especially early, yeah. yeah. And he did some silly things too, you know, trying to make a, a, maybe a, a harder play than he should have. But it's good we got it on film. We can watch it. We can talk about it. And uh, one thing about LJ is, uh, you know, there are three or four times where we talked about a certain play tonight in a timeout or in a huddle or whatever, and and you know, he he knows before we actually have to talk to him about it. I mean, he's he's a guy who really understands this game. Comes from a unbelievable. Um, experienced, uh, talented basketball family and uh, has lived this game his whole life. Well, Coach, you've had uh, several weeks of practice now, a couple of exhibition games, and uh, you, the real thing is uh, is Monday. What what kind of what, what are some of the main areas of focus for you the next three or four well, days? Well, Princeton is a tough prep, no matter uh, when you play them or with what group you play them. It reminds obviously of the Air Force teams we played back in the uh, Mountain West Conference, but extremely disciplined. Uh, you, you pressure them on the perimeter. They're really good three-point shooters. You pressure them on the perimeter, then they're going to back cut you and and uh, and the, you know, it's a it's a really talented team uh, with most of their guys back from last year. Their best player got hurt last year and, and is back with this team. Uh, but you know, as a first game right out of the shoots. Uh, with a really experienced team playing a, a team that's just starting their journey together as a group, uh, that's where the biggest concern is for me. And, and trying to get a pace in this game, we'll be fighting that the whole night. Um, the referees are trying to stop the game with, with all the uh, you know fouls that are being called. And, and trying to get a pace in that game is going to be the, the challenge for us. 
I saw Princeton tweet out today they've got five players with 50 or more career starts with that school. BYU's got one of those guys, <laughs> Kyle Davis, and then the rest of his guys are going to grow up around him here this season and out yeah. beyond. All right, we'll take a break. Uh, Coach Rose's final comments are next here on the New Skin Cougar IMG Sports Network. Welcome back courtside here to the Marriott Center. Greg Rubel with uh, Mark Durant and Dave Rose, the head coach of the Cougars. BYU completes its exhibition slate, defeating BYU-Hawaii by a score of 110-63. to BYU plus 44 uh, points in the paint tonight, uh, plus 36 on the boards. As Coach Rose mentioned, there's a physical uh, dimension there that uh, BYUH was not going to overcome. Talk with Coach Roberts before the game, and he's got an interesting challenge this year, doesn't he? Coaching yeah. as a as a lone year as the head coach with a, with a group of players that are, are getting one last hurrah with BYUH here. Yeah, kind of uh, as we're in this political system, I mean, season, he, it's probably similar to being a lame duck coach. I mean, a lame duck president, he's the lame duck coach. He's got nothing uh, after this year. The program's shut down. But uh, hopefully he, he told me t- t- tonight after the game that he's got two, a couple big kids that he thinks uh, he's going to get back, which will actually really help him. He's got some really good shooters. Uh, that caused us a lot of problems early in the game. A lot of mismatches we had uh, with big guys trying to guard little guys out on the perimeter. But uh, uh, I, 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 you know, I wish him the very best. Ken Ken Wagner was has been the coach there for the last 25 plus years, and he left this year to, to, to coach the Chinese national team. And, uh, so I, I, I just I wish him the best. I, I think it's going to be a challenge, but I, I wish him the very best. You had a couple guys hit the deck tonight or go to the locker room for a bit. Uh, uh, what are the updates on, on, well, really, the only one that really got me really concerned was Eric Mika when he went right down the yeah. tunnel. Uh, looks like he had a right pinky situation. Yeah, he kind of dislocated uh, just the very tip. And Rob, got our, our trainer, got to pop back in. and So, you know, it'll be sore, I'm sure, but he'll, he'll be he'll be ready to roll on Monday. I the other two guys that went down, you know, Elijah went down hard, which always kind of scares you, you know, when the guy's just coming off a deal. And LJ went down hard early to start. But uh, I, I'm, I'm excited, excited to get to those guys. And, you know, one thing about LJ that we didn't talk about that I'm sure is going to be a real issue is that LJ's playing with a beard. <laughs> and the first player that I've ever had at BYU as an assistant coach or a head coach who's uh, actually gone through the system here with his, you know, his doctors and his uh, dermatologists and everything and beard card. Has, a, has what is officially called yeah. a, a beard card. And so we won't let it get like James Harden's beard, I promise. OK, <laughs> but uh, but he is going to uh, to carry that uh, that tight cut uh, beard. And just so everybody knows, I know that he has a beard. Okay? <laughs> it's legit. And it's, it's I, I approve, by the way. OK, yeah, I had to get permission from yeah. Greg. You, Mark has the broadcaster beard card here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that that's uh, that that will be really different because uh, you know. I've, but the one thing that it has created uh, is I've got a lot of other guys that want to get a beard card. <laughs> beard envy in the yeah. locker room. <laughs> yeah. the and uh, I, I, I will tell you this: that is a it is a process that you have to really want to get the, the, the beard card because it's not easy. You, you have to stay with it and LJ went through all the steps and uh, it, it happened. He and, must and have thought, I was, this is just crazy. Yeah, he, <laughs> but, but he does have, he has a, what do they call it, flick uh, some, t- some type of skin irritation and so the uh, that's the reason. You got clearance. Clearance. He said Lyndon and his mom are going to be out here on Monday well, that's I think, good. for the Princeton game. That's and he said Archie might be around, see a couple games too. And, and so uh, do you see Lyndon, what, what? How often would you see yeah, him? Yeah, I, I see him a couple times a year when, when we're down. I, I saw him last year quite a few times because we were in Houston for the Final Four. Uh, and then I was at Coach Lewis's funeral mm. um, in, in December and we saw him there. And, and then uh, this 30, 30, 30 for 30 project, we ran into each other. And, and then obviously during this recruiting process of, uh, of, of LJ. So uh, it's, it's fun to reunite with him because he, he, he knows everything about all the fellows and where they are and what they're doing and what's new and what's next. Uh, and that was, that was quite a team, quite a group of guys that we, we had. In fact, there, there, there's a, there was a reunion this last past weekend there for their, uh, their football game for Five Slamma Jamma. And uh, 
pretty good turnout. I, I wasn't able to make it, but uh, I, I look forward to the times when I get to meet with that, that group of guys. And you all got to find out what happened with Benny Anders finally. <laughs> we finally found <laughs> Benny. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but uh, uh, the interesting thing is that when Benny actually did appear on camera, uh, I don't think he still wanted to be found <laughs> with <laughs> his sunglasses and his, uh, his, his hat that he was wearing. Police hat. But... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, we've all kind of reunited through that uh, documentary. That's yeah. pretty good. So when that 30 for 30, uh, Linda had a big part in it. Of course, you were seeing it a lot. And uh, did you like the way it turned out? I, it, it was it was interesting. You know, it was a three-year span, and I was involved in two years of that. One as a red shirt my freshman year when, when Eric Davis and Lyndon were the, were the uh, captains. Mm -hmm. the, I was a, a red shirt junior, and then my senior year was uh, when nickname actually came at his five slamma jamma and then that following year I was actually coaching in high school out here uh, at Millard High Cheryl and I drove to the final four up in Seattle uh, that year and saw both those games but uh, it was uh, it was quite a run of uh, but, but what's what's so interesting is watching it I didn't really realize how it just came and went and we haven't won a NCAA tournament game at the University of Houston since that group came through and and so um, the story itself even kind of intrigued me a little bit, you know, and I was right in the middle of it. But uh, we have been looking for Benny for a long time, a lot of reunions without him, and uh, I'm glad he's doing well. It was a really cool link throughout the entire piece. All right, Dave, we'll let you go, and we'll uh, get ready for Princeton. Thank All right, you. thanks, Greg. All right, that's Dave Rose. We'll come back here from uh, Coach Roberts and wrap it up here on the new Skin Cougar IMG Sports Network.